on the floor. Okay. Then comes um, George and Tamara doesn't don't want to see that movie. Don't. Don't. Okay. Because George and Tamara plural subjects. So you have to use the plural verb don't. George and Tamara don't want to see that movie. Benito doesn't don't know the answer. Benito doesn't don't know the answer. Doesn't. Huh. Benito is singular, right? So you have to use the uh, singular form of the verb doesn't. Benito doesn't know the answer. One of my sisters is are going on a trip to France. Is. Huh. One of my sisters is going on a trip to France. Now, this is again, you know, the kind of uh, questions that can create confusions. One of my sisters, right? The reference is to one among the many. So the subject is still singular, right? Hence, your verb also has to be singular. One of my sisters is going on a trip to France. The eighth one, the man with all the birds live, live on my street. Lives. Uh, man with all the birds lives on my street the subject is what in the sentence the man right so this is a, another part when you're uh, looking for solving the subject verb uh, questions agreement questions keep in mind that anything that comes in between the verb and the subject of the sentence doesn't matter okay they don't count for the agreement only the subject and the verb is what is in agreement so you can put anything you want in between you can uh, form long uh, phrases in between, yet the verb will only agree with the subject, right? So this is an example of that. The man with all the birds lives on my street. The movie, including all the previews, take takes about two hours to watch. Takes. Takes. Again, what's the subject here? Movie. The movie, right? The movie is your subject. Anything that follows that doesn't matter. Okay, only the subject matters, hence you're going to use take since movie is singular. The players as well as the captain want, want the, sorry, wants to win. Want. The players as well as the captain want to win, right? Because what's the subject here now in the sentence? The players. The players, right? Players and players is what it is, plural, hence your verb also has to be plural. So the players want to win. See, look at it this way. You can remove as well as the captain or in the previous sentences with all the birds, including all the previews, and still have a grammatical sentence. You can say the man lives on my street. The movie takes about two hours to watch. The players want to win. You can take out that phrase that follows it and still have a grammatical sentence, right? So basically, it is not affecting any part. It is not uh, participating in the grammar here anyway. So that is the idea behind saying that it doesn't matter what interferes between the subject and the verb. Okay, 11th one, either answer is or acceptable. Is. Either answer is or acceptable. Is. Either, uh, either answer is acceptable, right? Either answer is acceptable. Then comes every one of those books. Every one of those books is our fiction. Is. Ah, why? No, because it, the subject on focus is everyone. Like, it's talking about the singular. Every one of those books, uh, The if the focus is on everyone, then why are we choosing is? Oh. Your answer is right, but your explanation is wrong. Okay. Everyone is not the focus. Maybe you wanted to say it that way, right? Every one of those books means we are still talking about the whole of the books, right? We are still talking about the entire collection of the books, but our reference is about the individual books in the collection, right? Yes. yes. The reference is individual, hence you are choosing uh, the um, singular form, right? We are referring to the collection, but at the same time, we are referring to individual books in the collection. That is what that expression means. Every one of those books is fiction. Okay. 
So singular usage, your answer is right, but the meaning is we, we choose is because the reference is to individual words. Nobody no knows the trouble I have seen. Knows. Knows. Nobody knows the trouble I have seen. Okay. Nobody knows the trouble I have seen. Now next one. Is are the news at five or six? Is the news. Huh. Is, is the news. Right now there are certain uh, words or phrases in English which only have a plural usage. You don't use them in singular at all. And one example is news. So news is always used in the singular form. Although it looks plural, it is always used in the singular format. Is news, is the news at five or six? Similarly, you have mathematics is our John's favorite subject, while civics is our Andrea's favorite subject. Both is. Ah, both is, okay. Mathematics is John's favorite subject. Civics is Andrea's favorite subject. Sixteenth one. Eight dollars is are the price of a movie these days. Is hmm? ah, eight dollars is now why am I saying are because eight dollars is countable. Why are we not saying are eight dollars is the price of a movie these days is the right answer, but why? Why not R? Take it as a Go over again. I did not hear you properly. Why? Um, I think it's wrong. Just... Sorry? Louder. You were not clear. I don't think that was the right explanation. That was the right explanation. No, we didn't give any explanation. The answer was given as is. $8. No, no, I don't think uh, what I told was the right explanation. No, no, no. It is right. $8 is the price of a movie these days is the right answer. But we should know why, right? Eight dollar. Here we do not mean eight dollars as you know uh, currency, right? So but we are using eight dollars as the name, right? Or the purpose is more to name it than to look at the number of dollars involved. So eight dollars is the price of a movie these days. You're just defining the price, defining the price, and considered as a single unit, not as separate uh, money. Okay, countable money, which is why we say eight dollars is the price. Okay, not eight dollars are the price of a movie these days. Okay. Now, next one. Uh, huh, this one is also an example of uh, words that are used in uh, singular format alone. Is are the tweezers in this drawer? Are. Mm -hmm. Is are the tweezers in this drawer? It is is not are. Okay, this is similar to your uh, example number fourteen news. Okay, so sir, so I told you there are certain uh, words which would be used only in the singular form. They 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 look like they are uh, plural, but their usage is always singular. So tweezers, scissors. Right, next one. The next question you have pans. Your pans is are at the cleaners. What's the answer? Your pans is are at the cleaners. Your pans is at the cleaners, right? You don't say your pans are at the cleaners, right? The pans, pans tweezers. But in the yes. lecture, it was like the pants and other like trousers. Where they have plural in them, like spectacles or scissors, they are plural, and we have to use plural. So that plural. where, where, where? I'm in the lecture. In the lecture? Yes, ma'am. Is that true for everybody else? Yes, ma'am. That may not be true. I don't think so. Anyway, I'll check it, but I am sure it is not the. Uh, you don't say my pants are at the cleaners. Usually it is always is. I can check it right away, actually, but then I don't have because, that. Uh, because like uh, we have scissors, though it is more sounds like pair of scissors. So it considered as ah, it is pair of scissors. I know that 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 one I know uh, we usually don't say pair of scissors. Uh, 
the even with pants and all pants is also same thing pair of pants or yes, uh, pair of tweezers <clears throat> some in the lecture it was told mm -hmm. jeans tweezer trouser all takes uh -huh. it's a singular form but it represents a uh, sorry plural form which represents a singular object See, a pair of scissors is singular, not plural. Okay. Uh, you can... Uh, okay, if it is required, we'll clarify it, okay? But uh, otherwise, it stands like that. You, you follow the lecture for the time being. Because I have not checked what is there in it. I cannot comment right now. I don't have the access to the file right now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, we look at which one was it? It was 18, right? So we go and to 19. Huh? After 18, yes, 19. Yeah, yeah, right. So it should be 19. There was were 15 candies in that bag. Were. Ah, there were 15 candies in that bag. Now that that is, is are only one left. That ah, is only yes. now there's only one left. Yes. Is only one left. Okay, 20th one. The committee debates debate these questions carefully. Debates. The committee debates these questions carefully. Huh. Yes, correct. The committee debates these questions carefully. Correct. Then comes the committee members leads uh, lead very different lives in private. Lead. Uh, this is lead. Okay, because uh, your subject is plural now, so lead very different lives in private the prime minister together with his wife greets greet the press cordially greet the press uh, the prime minister together with his wife greets the press cordially again it's the same example like we were looking at in uh, example number eight nine ten right so here prime minister is your subject it's singular hence the uh, verb has to be singular here okay Mm. Okay. Then the le next one. All of the series, even the scratched ones, uh, scratched one is R are in this case. Uh, are are because you're talking of all of the series, right? All of the series are in this case. Okay. Then we are going to a next set of uh, questions. Yes, ma'am. But in like in the twenty third one, the last one, ah. the uh, second it? second sentence after comma, even the scratched one, like ah. the sentence comes to singular. No. Uh, see what is the subject of the sentence in all of the series, even the scratched one. All of the series. All of the series. And what is what is the number for it? Is it plural or uh, singular? Plural. Plural, right? So then the verb agrees with only the subject, no? Like we mentioned. So you have to use R. This is uh, this is again very similar to the twenty second and the eight nine ten one, right? Like I told you, no matter what interferes between the subject and the verb, the verb does not have to bother about it. It need it needs to only agree with the subject. It doesn't have to bother with anything else. Hence, all of the series, since it is plural, your verb is also going to be plural. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay. Now, the next set of questions, uh, you have the subject here is uh, um, referred to as distributive pronouns, right? So all these, uh, everyone, no one, uh, um, everybody, everywhere, these kind of um, pronouns, they're called distributive pronouns. And... Um, <clears throat> We will see how they work, okay? How uh, 
when they appear as subjects what kind of uh, change does the verb undergoes is what we are going to see so let's look at them one by one okay so the first question you have here where did everyone go or goes this afternoon where did everyone go or goes this afternoon go ha huh, where did everyone go right where did everyone go this afternoon hmm? next one sometimes it feels like everyone on social media is are having more fun than us sometimes it feels like everyone on social media is are having more fun than us um is the answer is is yeah answer is is everyone is uh, sorry everyone on social media is having more fun than us okay can you believe that every one of her car tires is are flat today every one of her car tires is is flat is today flat. okay is flat today each and every one of the stars in the sky have has emitted light for millions of years each and every one of the stars in the sky have has and have each and every one of the stars in the sky has emitted light for millions of years see okay? not have so why is it has and not have ha huh. does that the nature of all of these uh, distributive uh, pronouns okay they always take singular subjects and look at this each and every one of the stars what is the reference individual reference each and every one you are referring to every single stars okay you are referring to all of them again similar to that uh, each and every one of the books in this section right you are referring to the whole of the books here again referring to all of the stars but the reference being made is individual okay that is why again this one also takes a singular verb okay the the subject becomes singular and hence the verb also becomes singular okay reference is singular that's all okay like every one of her tires you're referring to all the tires but at the same time the reference is singular okay individual reference got it so ma'am has will be the right yeah has will be the right answer has emitted light for millions of years now fifth one every one of my google searches same thing mention mention how everyone is are obsessed with the new actor every one of my google searches what's the answer mentions mention mentions right searches mentions how everyone is obsessed with the new actor okay yes. all of these distributive uh, pronouns when they take the subject form they are going to take only singular verbs because their nature is so right they make individual references to uh, things in a collection and if the reference is individual then the subject has to be treated as singular and hence the verb is also singular that's the logic behind using singular verb forms with all of them so next one sixth one everybody knows know the truth knows knows, knows the truth yeah, everybody knows the truth at night with the lights shining on the water everything looks look different looks looks different okay looks different you add as many things as you want like look at this at night with the night sorry light shining on the water add anything add five six more things into it but still the uh, answer would be everything looks different okay so doesn't matter how much ever uh, chunky parts you add to the sentence but the sentence will only take the subject and agree sorry the verb will only look at the subject and agree with it okay next i couldn't get a seat everywhere was or were so crowded was ha uh, everywhere was so crowded okay? everywhere was so crowded she know or knows everybody in the room knows 
he knows okay now this is easier this has got nothing to do with your uh, everybody or everything this is t okay singular so your uh, verb is also singular she knows everybody in the room then his name was henry but everyone calls ha calls him harry right? everyone calls him harry right uh these are the few uh, sort of questions that you must keep in mind while you are uh, doing the subject verb agreement we don't have anything beyond that okay major task is to identify whether your subject is plural or not uh especially in questions like uh, you know the prime minister and his wife or along with his wife sort of questions because they sometimes can come uh, with more uh particles in between we have had examples of only one right where you had along with his wife but there are questions which may have uh they may add more things in between to confuse but uh, you don't have to right so just follow the uh, subject if the subject is plural in that case then again your verb has to be plural and uh, if it is singular same way right uh that is one sort of questions and then the second one are these questions the one that we just solved right the one with the uh, um the uh, distributive pronouns right everyone everywhere nobody no one uh, each one of okay every one of these kind of uh, uh, subjects right so in these questions keep in mind that although it looks like it's a plural subject it is actually not because even when you are referring to the whole of the collection the uh, reference made is still individual to individual entities in that whole collection which is why we're going to use only only singular verbs with all of these um distributive pronouns right these kind of subjects okay and why in the question it to go not goes sorry then why in the first question it to go not goes in the first question oh that was uh, see it was a question right where did everyone go this afternoon in uh, question we don't do that no in question it changes right okay ma ha huh, it was in the interrogative format that's why but all the other uh, um sentences you see we are using the singular mm -hmm. noun form right yes ma ha huh. that the go is because of the specific nature of the sentence it's an interrogative sentence that's why otherwise we would have used the same thing there uh where did everyone everyone go this yeah see i'm sorry i was trying to change that into a, a normal sentence ha huh. if that changes to the declarative sentences like you see in the other cases that will also take goes okay not go but in the case of a question uh, interrogative sentence this is how it is done okay okay ma ha so okay. these questions are for the quiz too sorry i did not get the question who asked it so you can expect these kind of questions these pattern yeah. questions in quiz too you can expect these questions for sure definitely if not uh, in the you know directly as a grammar question maybe at least in the passages that you get they will ask you to work on something this sort or maybe some sort of uh, listening activity that they have they i mean they can place it wherever they want maybe not directly in the grammar part too so uh, you can definitely get questions on this part doesn't your uh, um, activity questions have these kind of questions i'm sure they are i might have seen them in some places yes ma'am if if you have not seen just go through them again uh, just look at those documents again you will definitely find at least a few questions a handful of them here and there i'm sure okay okay yes, any any other uh -huh. okay any other question no anything from the previous sections or anything that you have doubts about ma'am i have doubt in the mock test but the deadline is not over yet ah okay then don't ask when is the deadline 
it must be getting over today or tomorrow right ma'am yes ma'am today at uh -huh. 10 uh -huh. then you can write in the forum if that's the case okay 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 then if you have no questions then we will not uh, stretch it further but if you have any uh, questions i am ready to wait and answer them no problem nothing okay then uh, all the best to all of you you have more questions please use the forum to write to us and uh, we'll try and answer it for you thank you so much for joining and i hope this is helpful to you please keep thank helping me uh -huh. thank, thank you ma'am thank you thank you okay then see you all after your exam on sunday all the best thank you madam thank you so much everyone see you thank you ma'am thank you
this session over. Hello. 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 